everybody looked at me as a shooter. Mm-hmm. I looked at Austin Carr as a shooter. I looked at Bingo Smith as a shooter. I looked at Dick Snyder as a shooter. I looked at Damon Jones as a shooter. But I thought that I was a scorer. Somebody, and I think there's a distinct difference between and a, a difference shooter and a scorer. The difference is, a I score? think, is temperament. Because most of the time, oh, okay. uh, I believe most shooters okay. are very temperamental people. That everything has to go right for them in order for so them to be right. have to all be right exactly, for them to exactly. but have a, score, a good night. Exactly. But a scorer, his mentality is, I'm going to score in some shape, form, or fashion, whether it's from a layup, from so a So Michael Jordan was a scorer. He was a scorer. Well, when we, when we get to the camp, I can't wait to ask who's the camp, who's the scorer, and who's the shooter. LeBron is a definitely a scorer. So get it done. He, right, he's, like, he's going to get it done some yeah. way. Scotty Pippen, when he was playing with Michael, would be more of a shooter. Scotty Pippen was a basketball player and a scorer. And he was a scorer. Exactly. Uh, Michael okay. Jordan was a basketball player and a scorer. Okay. You know, again, I said the difference is most shooters are very temperamental people. Scorers are not temperamental. They are the kind of guys that says, every night I'm going out and get it done by some One point. way or another, whether exactly. it's three points, two points, exactly. layup, whatever it is. Exactly. Or helping somebody else get the basket. Okay. Exactly. Well, so, we got to come back to that when okay. we look at the Kevin. i got to get you to tell us who are shooters and who are scorers. <laughs> I can do that. Okay, good. Now, let me ask you, because I asked this question of Charlie Fry. Mm-hmm. Frank Stamps, Cliff Stout, they're all, they all represent a different generation. Okay. And their answers were all different. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to ask you, when did you first start to realize that you just might be able to play professional sports for a living? Wow. I, <laughs> I would have to go back a little bit because I've always believed, you know, and I think it's kind of, you know, when you go back and, and uh, the teacher may say, what is it that you want to do? Mm-hmm. You know, I can go back to, I would say, probably fifth grade, sixth grade. And I said it at that time. You know, hey, I'm, 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 I said I'm going to play professional basketball. Now, Not I wish I'm okay. going to. I'm do going it. to now. Exactly. At that time, how tall were you? Were you taller than the other students yet, or were you the same height saying that? I may have been a little taller, but uh, I believe it's not all about height. It's about the ability to play and how skilled you are and uh, what you're willing to do to get there. 